Hello everyone, happy new year. And I hope best wishes for 2024. And I hope your garden will be as beautiful as this one. Look, we are in the middle of January, like second, fourth, fifth of January. And look our beautiful Rose du Seyser, which is still blooming. That's incredible. Oh, okay, this year is pretty warm in the south, but if you look at the field around me, there's not much flowers. This one will be ready, cut back at the end of the winter, and then we will have a prolific spring, summer, and fall with beautiful flowers, you see, until the last time of the winter. That's perfect. But that's not why I wanted to talk to you today. I want to reintroduce some older varieties from Mayon. So the first one will be Pierre Cardin. Pierre Cardin is a great French name for a clothes design and different things like that. But Pierre Cardin is a beautiful rose. It's a really special color because it has that pink, hot pink type of color, but with some small spots on it. We call it stardust. And it's a really beautiful, beautiful rose, a great fragrance and quite compact for an HT. So it's a really interesting rose to put on your balcony. It's a really good rose to make small bouquet and the color is really an innovation. So please watch Pierre Cardin because that's a great rose. The next one is one of our most iconic yellow rose. It's called Golden Perfumella. It's a beautiful, huge uh, yellow rose, fantastic perfume and really big flowers on it. It's a prolific bloomer. You will be able to do also some bouquet. It's a little bit higher than Pierre Cardin, but it is still a good HT rose for balcony. So please watch out because that's a great yellow rose with a great fragrance. So now we're going into the huge HT red rose. If you like the big HT red rose with fragrance, you have to try Love Promise. This one is incredible. It gives you some huge flowers, really, really red, and with a delicious fragrance. It's almost, you can put it in hot water and make a tea with it. It is beautiful. So the plant is quite compact actually for an HT, and it will be easy to have it on your balcony. So that's going to be a great rose, a great addition of Mayon Rose Collection for your balcony. So now we are talking about Chalas Navour. Chalas Navour is not an HT, but it's a quite big flower. It is almost a landscape rose. It is quite compact and it's really beautiful. The color is going from white to soft pink on the edges. Looks like in a field, looks like it's um, shimmering a little bit. It looks really beautiful, like waves of flowers. And it gives you a prolific spring, summer and fall for flowers. It is on the edge of being a landscape rose, but it's a compact rose, beautiful, big, almost single flowers. When it is in a, in a cup shape, when it is a, um, a small rose like that, it almost looks like an hybrid tea, but then it open and become that beautiful landing platform for bees and birds to go. So it's a wonderful rose and I hope you will enjoy it. And now the climber, Colette. I mean, if you're looking for an easy growing climber, this is Colette. Colette has small flowers, but really double. They look like a small cup of beautiful petals in it. Well, well maintained with a mix of purple, pink, uh, some kind of dark brown in it. It's a real mix and beautiful. This is a real disease ver resistant variety. It is an easy climber and you can do a beautiful pillar with it or a beautiful hedge in your garden. This is not a compact line, uh, climber, but it has small flower on it and a lot of small flower all around the season. So Colette is a real good solution for doing some beautiful hedges or beautiful walls or beautiful pillar in your garden. And you will see what means to have a real romantic French rose in your garden. So Christopher Columbus, it's like the biggest HT orange that you will find on the market. 
perfectly designed. It is really upright. It gives you those beautiful single flower with a lot of petals and those beautiful hard petals are on it with a soft, beautiful orange color. The orange is like a fire in your garden. It's just amazing how those big flowers can be old on such a compact plant. Christopher Columbus is one of the best orange HT you could find. And I'm sure you will enjoy it to cut some flowers and put it in a vase inside your house. It will be lovely. The fragrance is light, but the color is just amazing. I hope you will enjoy it.